Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're going to roll two viewer requests into one video. The first request is, do the World War II dogfight where the two aircraft flew under the Eiffel Tower. That dogfight happened during spring 1944. It was a Mustang versus a BF 109 and they did indeed fly under the Eiffel Tower. We've done the Mustang versus the BF-109 dogfight just a couple of weeks ago, so we don't want to do that, but we do want to fly under the Eiffel Tower, so we're going to change the aircraft. Radial engine powered fighters, the P-47D Thunderbolt versus Focke-Wulf 190A8 Anton. Unfortunately, I haven't had any time to prepare for these. I do have Hasina, a World War II expert, with us. But as a general overview, my understanding of the Thunderbolt 1 Hasina is that it was a medium and high altitude, long range bomber escort fighter, and a very good one, also adept at ground attack. And the Focke Wolf 190A8, I think, was a medium to high altitude bomber interceptor have i got that right or completely wrong as usual with the a8 it's a bit weird because the a8 came into service in early 1944 originally it was used for like the normal german fighters were kind of intercepting bombers and attacking fighters but uh, kind of later on as we saw things like the dora 9 germany obviously needed aircraft for two things one destroying the allied bombers coming in from the west and an aircraft to destroy Russian tanks on the ground in towards Berlin. And the Junkers 87 by like, you know, 1942, 1943 was outdated and they needed something to replace it. And the A8 kind of took over that role. And the A8 we see here in DCS, uh, as you can see, it has that uh, underbelly pylon for holding bombs. It's a weird kind of mishmash between different Focke-Wulf like A8 variants. There was the F8 and the G8. The F8 had the underbelly pylon along with two underwing pylons for carrying fuel tanks and extra bombs. And the outboard 20mm cannons were removed to kind of lessen the weight along with adding extra armor plating underneath the pilot and underneath the engine to protect from ground fire. Statistics P47D-40 Weight with dogfight 30% fuel 12,679 pounds Powered by the enormous Pratt & Whitney R2800-59 double wasp with wartime emergency power which I'm not sure we're going to be able to use today we'll talk about that 2,600 horsepower in this configuration, a power to weight ratio of 451 horsepower per tonne. Armament, wing mounted, 8 50 cal machine guns. Maximum speed, a respectable 426 miles an hour at altitude. And the all important wing loading of 42.3 pounds per every square foot of wing. The Anton, in dogfight fuel, 8,854 pounds. Its engine was the BMW 801D2 radial at 1,677 horsepower and there is no methanol water mix, giving 417 horsepower per tonne. Weaponry, two 13mm MG131 machine guns and four 20mm MG151 cannon. Top speed, 408 miles per hour and the all-important wing loading of 44.9 pounds per a square foot guys we've got to have a prediction about what's going to win and from what i can see here the jug seems to win every time it's got the power to weight ratio its weapons are probably about even it's slightly faster it's got a slightly better wing loading change my mind the big advantage for the anton is its weight of fire but on the other hand the jug is notoriously tough so it's going to be a very close run thing uh, with the advantage of slightly being at the thunderbolt i would say in Bat uh, weaponry will be focke wolf hazard and maneuverability, maybe they, e they even, but Focke Wolf is far lighter. On that topic of maneuverability, it's important to point out that we are abusing these aircraft. Neither of these are low altitude turn fighters. They're both going to be pretty terrible at it. But because we're doing the Eiffel Tower trick, we are forcing them into a low level turn fight. I think the Eiffel Tower is going to win. Huh. 
Huh. There was that uh, that one famous uh, incident where a P-47 pilot sustained like so much uh, damage from, uh, I, I can't remember the names of the P-47 pilot or the Anton pilot, but the Anton pilot just peppered the P-47 and continued to pepper him mm-hmm. and just could not shoot him down. But uh, I imagine that was just for the fact that he was right behind the P-47. I, I hate shooting at things from directly behind because you can't get a clear shot on anything that's vital. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'd rather hit something in like a turn. Obviously, uh, up at high altitude, very high altitude, it's no competition. The P-47 has it every time. Low down, it will definitely be you know a little bit more even, but the, the P-47 has the climb rate. Uh, maybe not on the deck it probably doesn't have the speed against the Anton 8, but uh, it has the turn performance as well, the P47. So if you don't have either turn performance or climb rate, then I don't think you're going to win the fight, really, to be honest. Yeah, I've got one more uh, question to ask. I'm pretty sure the Anton does not have selectable wet port on emergency power. I know the jug does, and it is a considerable boost in power, but is using selectable web a good idea in a low altitude turn fight? It seems to me a very good way of frying your engine within about 15 seconds. What do you think, Hasina? It all depends on your speed, obviously, if you're... Because the P47, it has good cooling. It's a radio engine. It has all that air coming into the front of the engine. I've been doing some uh, experimenting with it. I know you can use web at a low altitude. Uh, you can also keep your uh, cow flaps closed. Uh, it, it's actually quite important to keep those closed because having them even remotely open just reduces your performance like significantly and your aircraft starts to buff it. You can use the web. Right, so, we're going to get 2,500 horsepower then. Right, guys. Yeah, I'm not that great in the Anton. I, I have it, but it's like... Because yeah. it's crap. <laughs> I'm not that great in both, so. And welcome in for round one. It's going to be me in a jug versus Fly in the Anton. We both start two miles from the Eiffel Tower. We have to fly under the Eiffel Tower. I'm not going to do much flying today, guys. I'm uh, operating on three hours sleep, and I am really just don't want to fly. Uh, but I'll do the first one. Um, that's it. Are you ready, Fly? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, Viewingtons, if that is your real species, let's do something. Let's do whatever it is we used to do. Before baby arrive. Okay, here we go. If you want viewers later on, I'll tell you why. Uh, it's been such a struggling day, but you've got to have a strong stomach for it. Yeah, that might you Have you all shown some horse toga, Matt? Are you here, Fly? Yes, you are. This is going to be awkward if we go for each other. Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> Alright, can we still fly? Let's have a look. Already on fly. Fly, 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 fly. I see you. Can I still shoot now? No, I can't. Sweet! Right, viewers. Priority is not burning my engine out. Second priority, shoot fly in the friggin' face. Where are you going, fly? I'm gonna come after you. Ah, I'm stalling out. Hits! I'll take it. This is a very notoriously tough plane, but that is also a very tough plane, viewers. The Anton, the radial engine. Ah! Flying so low, it's hard to get a... Really, Fly? Yes! <laughs> you know what, buddy, <laughs> viewers? I need to get you. <laughs> it would have worked. If you'd have done it right, it would have worked, yeah. viewers. Right, that was a weird start, but it's going to be a weird day, viewers. It's going to be a weird freaking day. Stand by. Next, Matrix German, I see now American. Punch it, boys. Bonuses, we get to see a bit of 1944 Paris, viewers. Look at that. Lovely shades there. Speaking of shades, the Eiffel Tower is brown, guys. Is that because it's rusty or is that just the way they painted it? I think it's painted in an iron, an iron oxide paint as an anti rust measure. Huh. Same time, maybe it's just not maintenance since uh, Germany fall into France. Yep. And uh, it's just bad maintenance. Eiffel Tower complete, and fight. Chuck is going to struggle can. down here. You can't tell it's rusty if it's painted in a rust colour. Uh, there we go. Hey, yeah, bad boy. I should do that to my car. That would work. Advantage Chuck, just. No solution. Oh, it's a visually a great fight today. Just better play the Fuck Wolves fight here, just... Doesn't turn this thing. No, it certainly doesn't. His wings are only 200 square feet. 
uh, that Anton. Tiny wings. Why would you make an aircraft with such small wings? Well, presumably for speed. Not even fast. 400 miles an hour. Just rubbish. Speed. Uh, Anton was good in 1941, 42, 43, not so much 44. Yeah, problem. it's a problem. thing, in just two years, the fighters were so much better in this war. By a big factor. I'm just using that raw rate strength for me. Hadrian's under massive pressure. Oh, oh, no, that did not pay off. Work. All right, guys, two to the jug. I mean, to be fair, once you're stuck in that position with the jug behind you, what the heck do you do? Round three, fly in the German plane, bird in the American plane. Punch it, boys. Defending the Fatherland. I think the jug is going to smash this. It just feels so much better. Yeah, it does seem to have a uh, a big advantage. Yeah, the, the, the jug is uh, very, like, underestimated. It looks big and heavy, but uh, it's, it's actually quite good. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. That was close. Remember can meet each other? Converting that energy into altitude? Yeah, now I'm I'm more serious here. One for top. Advantage no one. For me, the jug feels a bit more forgiving. The Anton feels not very forgiving at all. Again, I think it's those tiny little wing wings. It's a bit like the P-51. When you lose the wing, you lose yeah. really the wing. Yeah, whereas the jug's much more forgiving. It should give you plenty of opportunity to get the wing back. And what I don't like on the top of all, I mean, it was made to be more easy to fly, but when it has like only three configurations for the flaps, Yeah. Gives you not like the versatility like the uh, best does. Yeah. The jug's already made up 180 degrees. Yep. Advantage jug. But advantage a proper wolf in terms of altitude, which may win. Let's see where it goes. At this point, it's who burns the other guy's engine in Africa, which is a valid tactic. I am too slow. Okay, I have still uh, close flaps. Is she holding good up on a full power? Yeah, the Anton is winning the climb, guys. It is like 30% lighter, so... And the jug just, at these speeds, ah. the jug just can't get its power down. My temperature's already at the red line. Right, so, yeah. If, if your temperature's running high in an engine, one of these engines for yours, you can't get full power out of it. Yeah, I lost the wing for a sec. Yeah, I saw that. Let's see what we can make out of this. Yeah, Anton's gonna cash its, uh, gonna cash its chips in. Convert its energy back to energy. Let's see if it can... I still just think those wings are too rubbish. I see. Why did they make two versions the, of the um, 190 so different? I, I one with a V12 long nose and one with a snub nose. And it's a big variation to have. Usually when you have a variation in an airframe, it's like small bits. But that's a huge it's, variation. It's more a cost of the engine. They use the Umo because it has much more um, horsepower. But they needed to... According to accommodate the engine, they need to make big uh, shanks of the airframe as well. That's why she is so long nose and looks so vastly different. Was the radio earlier than the... Yeah, Jira? yeah, far earlier. Oh, right. Actually, the early Focke Wolves dominated uh, against the Spitz. And yeah, yeah, and the Brits actually... Oh, but like, why the uh, radio is so dominating? First, they fought its old Curtis plane, um, Germany got when they entered France. But quickly they found out it's actually 190s they fought for. And then it got the name Butcherbird out of that. 190s really pulled this back, back into its favor. But yeah, the, the tempting thing with the P47 when you turn is to put too much pull in the turn because the people's engine reads off too much speed. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and the temperature is spiked here, so I've had to slow down. Yep. Or try and slow my engine down. Are you fine with your cowls open or closed here in oh they're open me. right now. And you to open mine too. Just a couple of shells from that there will do a lot of damage. Yeah I need to get a bit off circle so I don't hit them from the back. 
but more like center. What I need is speed, but if I level out, I'm just going to become a sitting target. Yeah, that's the problem. You got there. Uh, my best idea is to try and use the terrain, but I don't know how to use it. Every time someone tries to use the terrain, they crash. Challenge you like Jeremy Clark's speed of power! But like I said, uh, viewers, we're deliberately abusing these aircraft. I'm aware they're not supposed to be flown like this, as in forced into a, a booth, low down. But Where is he gone? Where is... That's a you problem, uh, you want, Clive. That, that guy reversed. Did that right under my nose. Great fine for fly. But I make him pay. Oh, nice. Chuck's still going. No, no, it's not. Bang! Right next to the. Uh, uh, I still oh, think it's an inferior plane, but, but you used its yep. benefits really good. You used its spiral and climb ability to climb above the jug. There was nothing to jump Victory to do. roll! Uh, you ready, Matrix? Ich bin fertig. Ha! Huh. Matrix, as you heard, German, me, um, American. Off we go. Right, must not fall into that trap the bird fell into. Will not allow it. Watch this, viewers. Cap, actually, do you want to hear the story how the Brits got uh, heads on a complete uh, new one, uh, 190? Immer, ja. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what happened is, a German pilot mistakenly landed a completely new, I think it was an A3, uh, 190 on a British airfield. Huh. Meanwhile, the British were planning a coup to steal a 190 of a German airfield, but suddenly they had one just standing in perfect flying condition on one of their airfields. And then they completely looked into the plane, uh, put it apart, and thought like it's maybe the best construct plane uh, uh -huh. done until then. Yeah. Chief designer could time really good. Well. Awesome There's actually some good discipline from me there, Kevin. A lot yeah. of people probably would have forced a yeah. turning quite hard then. I needed to get my speed up. Might be able to get a pop at him now as well without losing too much speed. Yeah, what you want to do in the 190 is make him climb. That, that I noticed. Because you yeah. can't do that's, a lot that's of that long. I knew he was going to do it, so what I did was a massive, uh, not split, uh, what's it called, an Immelman to begin with because yeah. um, I knew I needed to get out of you quick. When, when, when I merged with... Uh, when, when I merged with my fight, I tried to get most it. speed into my altitude. Yeah. One, once he's in this position, viewers, I don't think there's much you can do. No, oh, he there's, lost there's it. not a great Sake. deal I can do. And, and you would machine. You just yeah, it's just outside the envelope again. It's such what you want. It gets out of this envelope so quickly. What um, I noticed, you you turn much with your rudder in in like not like you turn with a rudder in the corner, but more out to stabilize so you don't lose the wings so so quick. Watch you guys. Um, just keep going. They're nice quick turnarounds as we thought they were going to be. So watch this crash for the lols. Great. Now I'm going to land in the freaking fire! Last of the 1v1s has seen your America fly. Surprise, surprise, German. Go, do it! Right, can you outsmart him, fly? Can you outsmart him? I think climbing was a one trick pony. I think now we've sussed out the defeater. No, if the people are some parts, I will try. Do it. Let's get some good speed for this initial. Yep. Mode. Yeah, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use wet. Yeah, we should have pulled 2,000 miles an hour. 2,600 horsepower here, please. There he is, See how quickly you got there, viewers? Now well, he's going to turn that into altitude, which he needs. Must get altitude or die. Oh, can he get a shot? He's going to pull out the sky after his... No, he's not going to be able to get a shot, viewers. It's just too heavy. Patient, oh, I don't know. Yeah, that was patient. That was very patient. He just jumped! Oh! Oh, yeah. Wowie! I, I, I bet that he's falling out of the sky first. That was perfectly uh, timed, viewers. That probably looked quite easy. I can assure you it was not. That was absolute perfect okay, timing I, when the jet was coming. I, I lost control of the ailerons, but... Talk us through it, Fly. How's it feel? It's getting hot in here. Oh, and so now I'm blacked out. And now he's blacked out. Right, I should hope so. Right, viewers, um, that was the 1v1s. I think, I think if I got that right, and like I said, I've got baby brain, it was four 
to the American, one to the German. Yeah, that's correct. I think so. Yeah, we pushed as hard as we can, but... Okay, yeah. it's just the Jug's a very, very good plane, and the Anton's just not good enough in a turn fight. Guys, we're going to mix it up now with 2v2, and you, as you know, this can really change things. Stand by. Okay, viewers, uh, 2v2. I'm aware there's not going to be many tactics because it's low down. Once you're low down like this, tactics are almost impossible. But this is what we decided to do. Matrix fly German. Cap a uh, bird American on three, two, one, go. Punch it, RPMs up, check out. Met Metrics, big tactics now. Um, kill them, uh, just ah, kill them. You're gonna kill them, that's the tactics. Alrighty then. Yeah. If everybody's tactics, fine, tactics if the tower, uh, I could see this going right. very bad very Watch quick. how quickly we, we can get to the upper tower compared to that. <laughs> why why have so a feeling where we merge under the Eiffel Tower, we all just die <laughs> with four planes? Is Cap using wet there? Uh, I was not, so I was just using the go? Apple RPM. I was still fast. We, we took the Apple one! They went the Apple one, because they're freaking noobs. <laughs> we both! I'm low on the low one. Keep the speed high. Okay, I see I'm you. I see Can't you flopping. Okay, watch out, the guy's merging on your tail. I'm not going to snap turn here, I can't risk stalling. Nice and one's easy. One's diving at the Eiffel. <laughs> and they're both on you, yeah, bro. I, I really needed my run up here. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'll be catching up soon. When I say soon, I mean about 20 minutes. Get him, get him. Oh, I will be soon, I will be soon. I'll be firing. Three, Ow. two, okay. one, firing. Get some knobhead. You're free, you're free. Okay, I, I get cap. You take the other one. Hits. Ah, uh, turn. Oh, this is scary, this is scary, this is scary, this is scary. Shit. Things happening. Jesus, oh. this thing really needs to be babied around. What's the sitch? Bird? Your tail's clear. Come on, you big Probably lugs. It's supposed hey, to be bird. My tail. Hits. Uh oh. Bird is out. Alright, don't worry. I'm, I'm on fire, I'm still going. I'm north of the Eiffel, heading towards it. Fly. Yeah, yeah, uh, I see you. I see you. Jesus. Give me ten seconds. Uh, Tell me which way to go. Yeah, he's away. He's turning left. Under the, under the tower. No, I'm turning around the tower. Yeah, yeah, he's flying under the tower. Right Wait. now. Whoa! Pulling out. I get him. He's damn slow. Damn! Hey, Cap. Um, yeah, now pull out of that one. I'm good. I'm good. Just thinking about my energy viewers. Just the energy. All I care about at the moment. Yeah, dude, I was just watching you turn to help Cap, and I was like, you're giving you six up to high. I was just watching yeah. it. I didn't want to yeah, see I had it. a feeling. Yeah. I, I watched when you go around and thought, like, okay. First, I need to get you out of the game and then kill Cap. Violet, hey, I'm tough. Hey, Cap, I can, I can do it, viewers. I'm tough. Hey, you don't need the left aileron. Yeah, oh, I hate fly. You don't need the left. Oh, oh, oh shit! Fuck off, Austin. Yes. Okay, I'm having to turn with the rudder because I've got no ailerons, but I can do it still. Okay, Matrix, he's very, Ow. very nearly dead. All right. Yeah, I, I can see him. New tactic, Cap. I've got, I've got a few couples as well. I've got no flaps, the terrain. I've got no flaps, you no ailerons, what? nothing. You know what? Your left wing is nearly not fair. It's okay. Oh, look. Yeah, um, Statue of Liberty. Well, I've still got it. The motor's still good. Yeah, what happened to me is I, I lost the wing and was too slow to recover and too low. Right, right. I've lost him. Is he on me? I don't think That's a you problem. He's somewhere. Same lift vector. Lift vector low. Right wing low. Okay, visual. F5, that's what the word I meant. Ah, shit! Man, I'm flying bad today. Oh, now I'm in real trouble. We're still good. Cap surrender. Yeah, you don't need the right flap. Never. The right hand one. No, 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 no. What? Now, now he's it's getting started apart, equal. Like this. Yeah, it's getting equal. You don't need yet. to be. It's only adding weight. Flying with full right rudder and full right stick. Now I'm still okay. good. I'm still good. Speedo's gone. 
Taco's gone, we're good. You don't need that. Oh, look at this big building. What's this? Yeah, camp, look, LDS 6. Shit. <laughs> That's just out here sightseeing. Yeah, and Kev is losing something brown. Looks like oil. Poo poo. Oh no! 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 Overshoot! Oh, oh the oh, bitch is oh, a police! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, maybe I'm gonna wait, maybe I'm Kev! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to keep it still! Oh, three! Oh, oh, three! God damn it! Ooh. Oh, Viewington. That was difficult. You, you uh, know what, guys? I'm getting a feeling on this uh, Warbird dogfights we're doing, yeah? Why are trees so lethal to cap always? You notice that? Guys, a Focke-Wolf, 1-1. One, one. Right, we're going to set up for another 2v2. I'm going to tell you about my day now, viewers. Uh, if you're screamish, turn away now. I got to sleep at midnight. I'm, I'm hard wired only to sleep at midnight. I can't go to sleep earlier, even if I go to bed at 5. Woke up at 3. We both woke up at 3 in the morning. Three hours later, with baby wailing, done a giant punami, all his clothes covered in liquid poo. Yeah, this is the shit you sign up for. All that. Cleaned him off. Took an hour and everything to clean him off. Couldn't go back to bed. Refused to go back to bed. So we started the day and uh, a bunch of other stuff. Then we went had to go to shopping because we've got no food. Got a bunch of stuff. Uh, came back a couple of hours later. Um, just in time for this, actually. So I was late here today. And um, was just about to log on to you guys. And I checked. And baby's clothes were absolutely soaking. Uh, I don't know how he'd done it. He'd done it sitting in the pram for so long. And um, so I went to do the change this time. Nice uh, hammerhead thing. Look at that, viewers. Flick roll. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, and so I went to change baby. And again, massive punami. Poo all up his back, all down his legs, everywhere. All his clooey's ruined. Oh, I didn't tell you. Uh, his clothes were so pooey the first time around. I actually had to go and set fire to burn them because they were just irrecoverable. Plus, I got to burn something, which is great. Oh. Then, because I was in such a hurry, I forgot to uh, put the lid back on his bottom cream. And while I was working on his bottom end, he was digging his fist in the bottom cream, smothering it all over himself and all over me. So it all got covered in this horrible cream stuff. Then, um, when I wasn't watching the other side when correcting that, I put my leg in the poo that was all over the ground, which is my last set of trousers that aren't covered in poo. So I'm now sitting here in my pants. Um, well, and that's beautiful. my day. The beautiful That's things of parenthood. Is. Yeah, so Grim Reaper's <laughs> going to be very, very different for the next 18 years, guys, if it's anything like that. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, guys. And uh, then he takes over the channel. Then he'll get here. We can gladly take over the channel, guys. I need a friggin' rest. Right, you stop asking around. We're going to have another 2v2. Stand by. Huh. Yay. Look at that. In a few years, you'll introduce him to DCS, and He's then he'll up. be whipping your ass. Yeah, I absolutely su suspect that, guys. Can we just then give him a new channel and that we named an uh, Cap 2.0? No, he can have G GR. he can have GR2. I'll, I'll keep GR1 because it's got a better revenue stream. He can have GR2. We can do his baby stuff on. Right. He'll overtake you. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Anyone yeah. not ready? Ready. Yeah. Matrix Fly, German. Those two guys, American. Punch it, Hunk Myers. Everyone's got to go through the uh, thing one way or another. I feel like now all guys go through the upper. Oh. I don't want to crash up the village, so... Why, why, why no one tried the very narrow? <laughs> the jugs, the jugs <laughs> are 50% more wing area than that Focke Wolf, believe it or not. 50% more. It's astonishing. About slightly more. Nice. Show-offs. Did that jug make it through? Yes. Yes! Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> okay, I take the downer one. Becker one. No what? Okay. Your six is clear for now, Hasino, which probably means mine's not. Okay, mine is not clear. Matrix, I need um, you. I've yeah, got I Matrix in front of me, so... I'll fly in the world of whatever I just cleaned up off my trousers. I bet it's Hasino, yeah? No comment. All I needed. Come on, we do we do some sightseeing. You don't need to shoot me. I don't know where Matrix is. Not a bit of a bad problem. Stop! Oh, I found Matrix. Don't be so rude. He is being rude. Yeah, with his 850 kills. Oh, great thumbnail shot there. Overshoot. Desperate move. It was um, a desperate move. Crazy Ivan. Still going, that fly. Both on, got very reliable rugged Keep engines. Keep run! Keep run! Uh oh. He's shaking. 
Somebody smoking. Two people are smoking. A jug and a fucker. Fucker. Ooh, this is exciting. Yep, one jug's damage, one fucker's damage. Oh, one, the one fucker will come up to you, right? He's like, I'm going to Yeah. Both not my guns not going to work anymore. Thanks, Hussina. She's head on there. Big smacker, smacker, boom, boom. Oh, this is great. We need to do a lot of dogfights under the friggin' Eiffel Tower. May not, be the tour. May not be tactical, but damn it. Come Come to sightseeing and show you the city. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, poor fly. He's got absolutely smashed. Still going, though. Yeah, she's shaking and everything, but I up. can hold her up. Oh, oh, crazy Ivan Vazina. It didn't pay yeah. off. He got smacked. And stalled his engine. I think that's a dead jug. Can he get his airfoil back? What a great match. I'm Can. being the bait. I'm being the bait to see them not. Where? It's now which one is tougher? Which one suck up more ammo? Oh, oh. It's now a four way human run. centipede. Baby, keep running. As you all know, it's human centipede, best centipede. Uh, Matrix. I have something on my tail I don't like. Yeah, I think there's something on my tail as well, Fly. Huh. Ah, uh, okay. Smash, oh, no, smash bird shooting smash fly. Huh. Bird, leave me alone. I'm just gonna run out of uh, oil first. Who Radios knows? don't need oil. Radios yeah, don't I... need oil, that's right. You run them pretty Next. much without oil. Run them as a total yep. loss system. You know what? I dumped my canopy. Now I have very, very good visibility, uh, but I think what 50 kills yeah. out and I'm very, very dead. I hope you've got an armored head. Everyone's don't stripping know, their I, canopies off. Uh -oh. I, oh, 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 bad! I, I don't think I've had a head style helmet in... in, in oh, the Jesus, first plane just flew to pieces. Major just smashed him. See, are you still around? Oh, oh dear. Sorry. Oh, yeah, God, God, he's he's oh, he's in the How spot. many bullets do I take? <laughs> <laughs> how many How many bullets do you need for to take down a P-47? Why won't yes. you just die, bird? Just die! Stop talking, come down and get this guy. Yes! Problem is, I don't have any weapons anymore. It's amazing how... Stop them down. Group be group. But my engine is back on full power, so... Continue the right turn, you'll see now I'm slightly high. My opponent's left around the clock to me low. It's lighter now, it's got no oil in it. Yeah, you got him. Fox Fire! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sonder Commander Elba, engage! Sonder Commander Elba, best Elba. She can move from Matrix, will it pay off or will it? No, it? probably not. The problem is this thing doesn't have the light wing loading to do it. Watch out, Hasina is heavily damaged. He's a fly, just you just landed on your feet there. Oh, I don't have very much stability. My ends don't sound Shots. good, but I can make this. You got no cannon, fly. Oh, f***ing thing. Oh, no, he killed everything. My whole Pump. electric Which? is down. All and right. now my engine is gone. Is gone. Just right. survive for about 10 seconds. Just survive. <laughs> just don't stall it. And it's a win. Get your flaps down. He's too slow. He's 2,800 horsepower. Let's run it. He's too slow. He's too slow. Going to look at the, uh, the Champs Let's, Elysees, let's just there? land here. Completely safe. It's completely safe. That's actually look. a very good landing fly. We'll give you that. We're straight for that man on the ground. Yeah, that is. Oh, right, oh. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> you, I always said you get what you deserve. Yeah, maybe I need to leave here quickly. <laughs> I think you need to lose your head. Oh, guys, that was a great day. That was again, fairly viewers. That wasn't very tactical, but dang, it was fun. Uh, the drugs won the 1v1s. Interestingly, and this happens every time when we move to the groups, that changes round, and it was pretty much 50-50 at the end there, guys. The uh, Germans won the first one and the Americans won the second one by the skin of their teeth. Anyone got any interesting observations slash summary to make? What I really like is that we immediately, without even need to speak first about it, both teams quickly uh, like looked for the body six and keep the tail clear. I like that. Going from the uh, from I guess proper fighting warbirds to these slow radials is a, a completely different. Uh, you right. Kettle put, of fish. put a Spitfire in here. It's a uh, yeah. That's uh, that's a different game. Actually, question: the 
Coming Corsair has the same double double wars engine, right? Yeah. I'm interested how much the different is when we fight this against well, like that a Dora. Would be interesting. I'd be interested actually in the Corsair versus the Jug, two big heavyweight double wasp equipped engines. One with a gold wing, one with a normal wing. I think it's going to be a quite a fair match. Oh man! seen this engine stopped. Wow! Look at that. All right, we'll see it through to the end. Wow! You were lucky. You you got like two minutes more engine. Question: If Christina now dies, this is equal, yeah? No, so there's always been the last guy in the air wins, so it's definitely has seen as one. But oh come on, Kev! I wanted to at least have that's a win. That said, that's it's said. Do a lot of damage if he collides or something. Yeah, I was gonna say that said. Only if he survives. So he survived. chose the wrong place to fly. I, to I, I survived. I landed. I know. There's a big piece of grass in front of you if you can just, make it. Or the sit. water. Uh -oh. oh, it's all it. It's too heavy. It weighs yeah, like grass, it's, yeah, yeah. it's five tons. I'd like to see a Hawker Sea Fury in this. Yes, um, Ooh, that yes. was one of, oh, actually, one of the best wall bears ever, if not the best. What huh. I forgot. Uh, oh, from, the, from the um, captured. <laughs> yeah, and then DCS blows you off. Guys, okay. from the captured 190. The Brit Scott, yeah? Mm -hmm. It actually heavily, heavily influenced the Tempest 2. Hmm. The is... reason why that has an, the same, like the cooling, how they did yeah. the cooling in the 190, they the... copied that and put that into the, the, to the Tempest, the front... but then got really fast. Yeah, the original Tempest had a Napier Sabre engine, which was very unreliable, hence oh. the switch to the Bristol Centaurus. Hope you enjoyed that, guys, and bye bye.